Ooh, it's working. Hello. <laughs> I've just been goofing around with OBS for half an hour to try and get this to look right. Hopefully it's decent. All right, we're back. Turn 11. Decisive campaigns, Barbarossa. It looks like very little has changed with the Finns. Uh, it looks like we're out of fuel in Army Group North. Hands of Group 4. <laughs> it's dead in the water. Uh... Oh, we got we got issues here. I sure wish I could come around behind these guys with some mobile unit and just destroy them, but uh, that ain't gonna happen. At least Panzer Group Three. Oh, they're still immobile. Huh? There's our encircled stack that we're about to destroy. We got to get more people across here, and uh, they've stood up in front of us pretty well here. Where's the city, Nikolaya? Okay. Well, it is about 6:30 in the morning, so I'm doing this before I get to work. Long day ahead. Um, um. <laughs> Let's get into it. All right, propaganda film, transfer chief of staff. Yeah, right, that's not going to happen. Propaganda and relocating a couple things, airfields. Okay, so propaganda film. Barbarossa has been a huge success. Goebbels wants to make a movie. Uh, 89. I, I guess I might as well. Um, huh, that didn't do too much. Interesting. Transfer chief of staff. No, you cannot transfer your chief of staff here to OKW in exchange for hours. Fraukic is like, yeah, I know, but he's related and, you know, please. <laughs> There's no point in insisting on the transfer except the 90% of a good outcome, which I have a feeling I should do. I have this funny feeling that 70% is not going to be enough. Ha! <laughs> Rolled six. Okay. <laughs> oh, more propaganda. What's going on here? We're all to become movie directors. <laughs> There's a lot of mockery here. That's Von Lieb. Uh, I'm going to refuse. It doesn't matter. Ooh, minus nine. Jeez. Gee. That feels mean. I got a plus one for doing what he wanted last time. That sounds very Nazi-esque, doesn't it? Okay. Um, rail conversion. We want to keep going on the uh, inside track, not the outside. And especially since the bridge to Ostrov has been fixed. Relocate airfield. Tilsit. No. No. I, I just moved it to uh, the city here. It is. Yeah, Jacob's stat. Tilsit is like in the wrong direction. Where is it? There. <laughs> well, that would be going backwards, wouldn't it? So I, I feel good about that. Yeah. Okay, well, let's get down to business. And the first business that we have is putting the counters back on the board. And then we're going to utterly destroy this particular thing here. Um, what is going on? In, oh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to fly some fuel in to uh, Army Group South. I figured out what happened last turn. Apparently, I resupplied the, um, the weapons and not the fuel for uh, one of the Army Groups. And that's, I think it was South. And that's why I was wondering what was going on. Okay, so resupply fuel, Army Group South, 1st Panzer, play card, 1700, okay, good. And uh, that will help us with this fine destruction here. Look at all that, look at all that. In fact, I'm, I'm, I won't include the mountain units, I'll just do it with infantry. Look at that. <laughs> huh. So by including um, armored units here, yeah, by mobile units, um, all we're doing is negatively hitting uh, our score. So 
I'm gonna leave it. Uh, there's 270 in there. Yeah. All right, 503 out of 500 versus 270. Let's do it. Ooh, we're losing some people, but they lost 40,000. <laughs> so our 2,400. Um, you know, that's not my favorite. I really would not. I would rather have not lost that many men, but it's something. Okay, let's get our folks into position here. Oh, what are you? Are you relatively new? Yep. Minus 50, so he'll be able to go like one block forward. Okay. I'm going to go there. And what I really want to do is stop... Boy, they have put a wall up in front of us. Um, any advancement right here. However, um... Something's got to be done about this. <laughs> and it's like, okay, what do I do with the the mobile forces here? Why that unit's having trouble. It's got some fatigue. Maybe we rest the 6th Army. I think that would be a good idea, huh? They don't seem to be in a position to fight. How are you? Low level five. I mean, I, yeah. It's just that a couple of units down here that are having fatigue issues. I mean, that's 16 is not great. The couple. Ah, uh, boy. So I think what we're, we're, we're back at is what do we want to accomplish here? I would love to roll these up. <laughs> that would be so much fun. Um, but they've, they've done a pretty good job of blocking us, you know? They are really in the way here. I'm trying to get around them. I'm trying to get through them and flank something. And, uh, yeah, coffee's getting cold. Um, I'm not too thrilled, you know. Oh, boy. It, it, there's quite a range in um, readiness here, right? 37 to 70-something. Uh, I think I should just leave them for a turn or something. But, like, the, the infantry. But let's see what we can do with... Uh, the armed forces, the the mobile. Hmm. I don't know. I can't decide yet. I do know I want more military on this side of. Oops. Did I just? Yeah. <laughs> That'd be an undo that I'd like. Okay. Guards, get over here. Your 11th Army, your 11th Army, okay. So. And you, two, are also 11th. got a really high readiness score. Alright, I'm just gonna beat on this. Because I've got a large number of people around there. Yeah. Can't do that forever. But. It's nice in the short term. Alright, I need more heavier units in this direction. Uh, 
Yeah, our readiness is not great. Who are you? Romanians? Okay, I think we get the Romanians across and we just have them like be blockers. Having this guy stuck up here. Get him out of there. I want the stronger units, the gray units, down towards the city here. I, I think we're going to need more units than this. And so we might have to wait to really deal with all this stuff. I don't know. Hmm. The readiness is good. What's there? Entrenchment is weak. Remove the Romanians and suddenly it goes up, right? Okay, we need that. Anybody? Yeah, that light infantry is really important. 16. Yeah, let's go with that. Oh, that's bad. Okay, yeah. That was, that was a tough fight. Now, why? See, the whole... I don't know what's wrong with the mountain division, but what I really wanted was to occupy that spot. And we'll get the fourth mountain up there. And we'll get the Headquarters across the water. Good. That one went to our advantage. So we could really go after that unit. But that would leave us... I don't know. I don't think it's a bad move, really. Uh, I'm just hammering on this unit, because I can. Uh, uh, okay, that did not go well. They're not going to be able to run across the river. They could get between us. I really wanted to move some 17th Army down this way, but I can't. What am I going to do here? Two hundred and eleven. Two hundred and fifteen there. Pretty equal. Two twenty. Two oh four. And we can't get a two on one advantage there. This is the weakest point here. What have we got? <laughs> not much that can attack, huh? Their entrenchment is not good. Their readiness is also very weak. That's interesting. Same thing here. Readiness 29, yeah. So this is a good spot to attack. We could break through here. We could try and surround these two stacks. Just need more.
Oh, whoops. <laughs> Boy, not a lot of uh, movement and range, huh? Like they can't go very far and then fight. This is definitely the weak point, but I don't have enough oomph to attack them with. Yeah, that's that part's good. What the Huns? We just can't get far enough. Like, I can't get enough units over here and able to fight. Seven, I don't know. I'm going to move the Hungarians in. If they're ready, at least. And it's going to overload everything. Get the headquarters there. Our 17th Army Headquarters. Oh boy. <laughs> Lost the headquarters. Where are they? Oh, okay. Uh, okay, they're both in the same spot. That's good. Alright, well. It's not everything that I had hoped for, but... did break through. Uh, it wasn't as horrible a massacre against, we did lose 1600. It's not like we got away cheap, especially with the Hungarians. But we did inflict good damage and we're going to be able to get into this area now. Can you move? No. I don't really want you to anyway. Yeah. Hmm. I guess we could set up for next turn. That's interesting. I really would like to get some more units down there. So we can get them close, but we can't get them down here. I really want them down there. Because they'll just block that off. That's the 215, so I need to keep at least 100. Or, I don't know. Hmm. This is the typical problem that uh, World War I <laughs> offenses had, right? They could get a breakthrough, but then they didn't have enough mobility to get uh, reinforcements to pour in there, right? And the enemy could shuffle units around to plug the gap. And that's what I feel is happening here. I don't want to attack these guys. I could with these guys, you know, but all it would do is shove them back. And that's not what I want. I want to get around behind them. And there was only one division that I could move there, and it would get trashed. I mean, look, they could hit it with like 12, 15 <laughs> you know, other units, right? Not good. Uh, hmm. Well, these guys are in the best shape. How many here? 100? So as long as I leave 100 here, they can't get through. Or it's very unlikely. So I could move a couple units. But they could push more to the front. I don't know. I think I'm going to leave it. And it really feels half done. And that's frustrating. <laughs> Let me tell you. Is 
this guy's 70. Not as good as I thought. Brennan is 57. Maybe we should go after them. How's the, uh, the garrison? They're entrenched, yeah. And you guys, not much in the way of readiness. But every turn we wait, you know? Oh gosh. That's it? <laughs> What's wrong with this stack? Did you guys just move there? Like... Ah. Uh. really need this stack. I don't know. Let's, let's go kill this thing. Hmm. 50-50, huh? Alright. Good, but also I've spread us out now. I think he's okay though, like look, he, you know, this stack would have to come after them, and while that could happen... Yeah, it's just not enough. Romanians, Romanians... I'm trying to get closer. Well, trying to get closer to Nikolaev with uh, heavier 11th Army divisions, and uh, it's not easy. I feel like I'm going to have to connect up 17th Army and 11th to have a chance down here. Uh, and 17th Army will be doing this, but there's usually a time to rest around here because we're starting to get, you know, fatigue of double digits in a lot of these cases okay so I could move one or two units there and really beat on this but again what do I accomplish with that right it's I don't want to attack just to attack because it you know our readiness is good up here. These units are quite ready for the most part. Entrenchment's 100. Their readiness is 100. I don't know. I think just leave them alone for a minute. I, I, there's one thing I've learned in this game. Fighting for the sake of fighting is not a good idea. Where's the second army? Headquarters. Ah. It's still spewing out I think that's about it, though, huh? As far as units it's going to create. Are you second army? You are. Let's get you out of here. That's all 4th Army. That's all 4th. Fourth. 4th. Fourth. <clears throat> can I attack? Yes. Yes, I can. this division. Now that had me worried there for a minute. <laughs> okay. The numbers turned out okay for us, but uh, that was a little disturbing. Alright, so your second army, you are, you are, you are. So we've got the tail taken care of here. Your fourth. Your second, 
Seems to be heading in that direction. For a second. Get you down there too. Fourth Army. here for the moment we're just trying to get them out of here right we're trying to replace them with there's some second army divisions here I'll get down here and then uh, we'll withdraw the fourth and get it up here where it really should be okay we have tons of fuel only one Panzer Division ready to go. That's okay. See, it looks like a lot, but then when you stack, you get on it, it's like not much. Uh, let's, let's eliminate this. Huh, that actually helped. We lost 5% of our guys again. I really don't like that, but I don't see much alternative. <laughs> Not enough. Not enough. The second panzer should not be doing this by itself. Like, holding the front line and attacking. <laughs> Fourth should be doing it, but it's stuck. Force should be doing the, the fourth force blocking and then the second panzer can punch through. That was kind of dumb. I didn't, I didn't look. It didn't hurt me, but... Uh, what do you got? What do you got? You got 153. Okay, so I need at least 75. All right, let's see what we can do here. And all I was hoping for there, even though our numerical advantage didn't look good, was um, that we were motorized and they were not. And this is really what I wanted. Um, all right, how many? 35,000, 36,000, and change for a thousand of ours. Let's see about total destruction of this. Um, Get you over there so that you can have a bonus on this, and let's do it. Well, it wasn't destruction, but it was quite the attack. Can you still go after them? How about you? No. And that was totally worth it. Uh, hmm. And you? Where can you go? No. Okay. Well, I'd say it turned out very well. Just cavalry and infantry there. Um, this is a problem I need to fix <laughs> right now. How many what do we got here? 302. Hmm. 
Hmm. All right, we'll pop back across the border. We're hanging out a little bit. And I don't like it, but what do we got here? 153. It's not a lot. Maybe I'll attack it anyway. Yeah, the numbers worked out for us. I'm afraid to take second Panzer units out of here because they're on Panzer three is on a break, right? On R and R. And I think if I pull that out, they'll sense weakness and try and hit it. And uh, I mean, they could do some real damage here and they haven't, but I don't know. That would be really risky, right? To try and pull some of these second Panzer units down here What are you? 197. Entrenchments 100. Readiness is 100. So that this is going to be a fight right here. Hmm. I think no one can get to this hex I and mean, they'd have to come around and I don't think they can do it. I think zone of control and what have you is going to block it. So I'm going to stick with this. I think it's pretty good. And I don't think attacking these guys is a smart idea right now. I think it's better to chase these guys next turn and try and encircle somehow. Plus these guys are going to wake back up. Somebody over here has to be weak. <laughs> I've had a chance to entrench, but uh, we've had a chance to get ready as well. All right, let's start with this. So we want to avoid the 110th and the 256. We can apply anything else. Yeah. That's fine to take out a 19. Oh, I was, I was hoping we would eliminate them. That didn't happen. Um, yeah, let's get you to the far side. No, no, no. That was dumb. That was a wish I could undo. <laughs> okay, let's see here. What do we got? Okay, I'll take that. 292 versus <laughs> out of 300 versus one unit. I yeah, did okay. And what I want to do is try and surround this. Whoops. Click the button too fast there. I don't think it hurt us, but we were way over the limit for that. <clears throat> now this is a bit of a worry. Back to the question of what do I want? <laughs> what am I trying to accomplish? Because I could beat on this unit. How are they? Entrenchment and readiness are not great. They're not terrible. I think I've only got one or two units though. Yeah. Can do it. So maybe next turn. Maybe next turn is the answer. I don't know. 
just had Valentine's Day a couple days ago. If you're watching this in real time, hope you had a good Valentine's Day. I got over to the girlfriends after recording an episode for you guys. <laughs> Before I left, I uploaded it and set it up for a release at 8 o'clock. Seems to be a good time. People want to watch at that time. Oh, we're so close. How are these guys doing? Yeah, see their entrenchment is huge. We're going to have to encircle and destroy, but it'll be worth it. We got nothing. <laughs> okay. Can I, uh, can I attack this? Nope. <laughs> see, we could really beat on this motorized division, but... And our... You know, we're not super, yeah, ready, apparently. Um, it's still a long way from Jacob's staff. I'm going to get the Luftwaffe to resupply fuel to Panzer Group 1, or 4, excuse me. Eh, we got a thimble full. It's better than nothing, but... And I have to get this guy up to the front line. This police division is our anchor. Our not good anchor. Hmm. So, what have we got hiding up here? We've got a unit at Tillin, a garrison, and a headquarters. Okay. Your 18th. Alright. 18th's kind of scattered right now. They are... Ooh, they need a rest. Okay, well after we take Narva, we're definitely getting a rest here. Uh, fourth. Panzer. Good job, guys. Had that division there to <clears throat> Okay, well the obvious thing to do is to knock this out and separate this side from this side. Really? <laughs> That's interesting. I'll take it. <laughs> That's very interesting. As an even fight. Uh, how are we doing for fuel? Yeah, see, we're running low. I wish I could get a unit into this spot and then we'd be able to surround these guys, but. Yeah, let's get you go over there. It's not it's not about fighting anymore. It's about uh can we get you forward one? Maybe there. It's good for next turn. Alright, we're we're set up to utterly destroy this next turn and uh and then Narva will be our Our goal, the reason I just paused there, is I think I should bring 4th Panzer around to this side. And use 18th Army just to block on this side. Get the Panzers around this side. I think their usefulness here. Unless I can somehow get behind these guys. I can't believe I got that unit to, to drive around there. That was unusual. Okay. Well, that's alright. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, 
I just see a bunch of half completed <laughs> things, right? It's frustrating. Uh, I don't know if I should put the sixth army on, like maybe a couple divisions, but a pro the problem is the divisions that are needing the rest are the closest to the enemy, right? And I could move them, I guess. Sixteen, sixteen, fourteen. Ah, so I'd have to get these four units out of five. Who are you? Nine, two, nine. Ah. I don't know. Around 20% is where I'm like, okay, this is absolutely necessary. Should I move anybody here? I don't know. What happens? Okay. We'd have to move some people up. And how are these guys doing? Yeah, their entrenchment and readiness are really good. And what do we accomplish again? So we could we could move a couple units up into this hex, probably get a better concentric bonus and beat on this stack. But then what? Right, and then we use our readiness and what do we get out of it? There's nothing really It's worth it. Oh, I'm not in love with this. Two very strong units there uh, in between our forces. And they could cut off our supply down here, but we've got we've got this road as well. Do we make all our decisions? Yeah, looks like it. Alright, well. I see where we're at in the uh, recording, but ah, 42 minutes. Oh, this has been a fairly long turn. Huh. <laughs> it appears the girlfriend has woken up and did not sleep well. <laughs> Is happening there where the gap was. Hmm. Oh my. Well, now I'm glad I didn't put Sixth Army on R and R because <laughs> there's people in the swamp. Not an easy game. If it was an easy game, more people would play it. I really like the old Panzer Corps as well. Panzer Corps Gold is like the most value I've gotten <laughs> spending money ever. Yeah, okay. It's down sort of, sure. <laughs> Whatever you say. Um, and that's wild. Um, Panzer Corps, I think, well, maybe it's, yeah, yeah. I bought Panzer Corps 2, but I didn't like it much. It's, there's, there's a lot of games that I just don't have the time and the energy to, uh, to play, to learn how to play. Limited ammunition shortage. Fuel stocks. Huh. Okay, well, we'll take care of that. Uh, let's look at some reports. Oh, 
Maybe I should have gone ahead with that. I don't know. Just something about cooperating with the Nazis. Okay, so we've still got <clears throat> another turn to wait to get our supply forward supply base hooked up again. We do have these barge convoys going on. That's helpful. The truck columns, yeah, yeah. But once we move the forward supply base completely and get it back and running, it'll be all right. We don't have any bridges. We're waiting for it this time. So that's good. Two more conquered cities. Army group center. Okay. So it's running. And yeah, and we don't want to move again. That's fine. Uh, we're still bridge building. Partisan activity affects trains. That's annoying. Okay. All right. So our forward supply bases are all running now. That's important. And we got another bridge fixed. 4063. Let's find out what that one is. That's, that's way in the south. It's probably this one. Yeah, it is. I don't know how useful that is, but any bridge that gets fixed is a happy day <laughs> to me. Uh, let's see, the staff log. Yeah. The performance evaluation. Logistical still four. Boo. Loss assessment. Yeah, we seem to lose about 15,000 people every four days. That's really terrifying when you think about it. I mean, one individual contributes so much to the world if they try, right? If they're not just sitting there eating Cheetos, doing nothing. Interesting. We lost a battle. Huh. I don't remember that. Oh, the enemy were defeated. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so they push in Army Group North continues. Nothing happened, I don't think, in Army Group Center. Yeah. All right, well, let's find out what they did. I, I know they hit us once. There was one division hanging out there that... Three divisions attacked one division. Heavy casualties. Okay. Eh. Logistics. <laughs> we have not run trains yet. Okay. Today. So they should go out after this. <laughs> not enough. All right. If we don't have trains running tomorrow in Army Group North or next turn, we've got a problem. By the way, let me save. This is turn 12, yeah. Um, before I forget, because if the game crashes or something like that, computer crashes, we lose it. Alright, uh, Army Group Center. We did good. Took out a lot of fuel out to the front. We got lots of trucks now in Army Group Center, and uh, we've got a lot of fuel. That's good, because that's where we really need it. Army Group South. Yeah, we had some stockpiling while we were moving the forward supply base. Got some new stuff. It's all on the trains. Got to Proscuro. It goes on the trucks. We have more trucks than we need there again. And so really it's just a question of what is going on in Army Group North because, okay, there it is. We're good, we're, we're good. We got, see actual trains. We've got more in center and south. 
Then we need truck columns. Ah, boy, so many <laughs> waiting maintenance. Wow. Okay, and we could look at other reports like who's got the most fatigue, who's got the most breakdowns, and uh, maybe we rest those divisions or something like that, but I don't know. Um, let's look at our stats. You guys like that. Uh, well, Soviet's pretty stable. Us too. Doing <laughs> Fuel's back up. We know what's going on in Army Group North. It's not a problem. We're just out while we get our forward supply base back. Trains. Looks like they're improving in Army Group Center. Dropping a little. Army Group South, I uh, have to keep my, uh, an eye on that. Um, we know here Army Group North, they're shut off because no forward supply base. And they're coming back on in Army Group South. So that's good. And things are going pretty good in uh, Army Group Center. Liftoff is doing its thing. Partisans are still an issue. Uh, the evaluation. Uh, the weather, right. Everything looks okay. <laughs> All right. That's enough for this turn. Look forward to seeing you next time. Comments, shares, uh, likes, all appreciated. I'll see you soon.